Hi, this is John, and I am doing another Average Guy's Perspective. Hi, John. They call me Johnny Drive-By. I'm an average guy with an average perspective myself. Well, I see you got something to show us. Well, let's hear it. He said, he explained it like this. This is the coin, and I have taped it to the ceiling. This is Benjamin Franklin. And right now, he appears to be right side up in the sky. He is the moon. So what I'm going to do is take a couple of steps towards the other side of the room. I'm going to turn and look up at Mr. Franklin and see what happens. Two steps, turn, looking up, facing the other wall. There he is. Look, he's upside down. Did I cross the equator into the southern hemisphere to look at the ceiling? No. My home is in the Midwestern United States. I did not cross the equator. This room is not built on a ball. I am currently not upside down looking at this coin deep to the ceiling. I'm going to do that one more time. I'm going to cross into the, no, not the Northern Hemisphere. I'm just taking a couple steps, turning and looking up. It's all about perspective. Thanks for watching. Okay, so what you're saying is you're standing in a flat room. It's flat. Uh, you have a flat coin, a disc, taped to the ceiling, a flat ceiling. And when you cross the line from one side to the other and turn around, now it's inverted. First off, did you notice that the more of an angle that you have on your camera angle, the more oval shaped that object, the coin, is. Well, that's interesting. I wonder what would happen if we put a round object up on that ceiling. So, what I have here is a golf ball taped to the ceiling. Notice how it is round as I'm looking at it. Now, take my two steps and go around but look it's still round no matter which position I go for I can go east west north south kind of funny how your coin is oval shaped okay so when I see the moon rising in the horizon it's round and as the earth turns and the moon goes around, it stays round the entire time. Um, no matter which pole you're sitting on, the north or the south, that moon is perfectly round, isn't it? Well, that would kind of uh, be demon it's demonstrable to me because I've seen it round the entire time when it circles around. What you're saying... You're proving that the moon is round anyway, because it stays round the entire time, right? Am I right? And one more thing. If the, if the moon went around the earth instead of the earth rotating in a circle, the inverted moon would not happen. Am I right? I have a friend that lives in New Zealand, and he can show us that the moon is inverted from his angle, compared to ours in the Northern Hemisphere. Well, anyway, I digress because, you know, you, you tried to prove a point, but I, I just think that you're wrong on it. I'm not, I don't think you're, I, I think you're just using bad information or trying to use different, yeah, you're not, <laughs> let's put it this way, your tests aren't very valid, so I can just dismiss them. Um, I think you've actually proven that the world is round more than it is flat. At least, at least if you think about it a little bit, maybe you will come to realize that. Thanks. Okay.
Pot? <laughs> Jackpot! And yeah, that's a joke, son, don't you get it?